So this is how you remove the background fast. You get you some images, pull it up. Like right here, you can see I had a layer three tag on it. You can put it whatever size you feel. Um, you open it up, hit the select button, you hit the background, it turns it blue. You can select it with the arrow, squeeze it all the way as small as you can. Uh, then you hit the erase tool, boom, erase it. Then you touch it up and take off the extra square so you bump up the eraser a little bit, just take it off and boom. You still might have a little orange around the tiger, but I'm gonna do some different backgrounds and you can see it won't really affect it. It's transparent, white, red, just some different colors and boom, you got yourself a transparent background. Just playing with some colors right here. Uh, the next one is uh, the Mighty Duck picture. So, you take that off. Uh, you know, you could just hide the layer and pull that up. And right here is a cool feature. I didn't notice it, but you hit represent, boom, you still got the outline of that tiger. Take that off, go back. Hit the select button. Uh, mistake, hit the select button, then you just click the screen, click the part you want, and it's taking the background off for you. You select it, shrink it. Pull it to the side. This was easy one. They didn't have like a square around it, so you put it to the side. Hit your erase tool. Erase, just like that. I'm just gonna play with some colors on the background. See how that looks. It's a lot faster. I was on. I was on the internet looking for different ways to erase the background, but could never figure it out. A buddy of mine at Coolwell on Instagram showed me this way. I told him he should have made the video, but he didn't want to, so I said, I'll do it. But he taught me this uh, a couple of days ago, and I just decided to put it in a video. Uh, right here, we got Spider-Man. White background, pretty simple. You still select it, click the background, take everything off, select it with the arrow, shrink it down, pull it to the side somewhere outside the image, as small as you can get it. Hit it in the sideline. Hit the erase, they got a little square around it. You just go in with your tool and erase, erase, erase. It makes it a lot faster, a lot easier than erasing the whole image, in my opinion. So then you can play with this, and uh, you, you guys will see that. I play with the background a little bit, just doing the little uh, galaxy look, and that option is the nebula. So you, you'll see how I got to the nebula too soon. Right when I finish erasing this, you can get it all the way to the smallest detail. Erase, erase, erase. Uh, take that off. There we go. Now we got a nice, solid, transparent Spider Man. And you can do whatever you want from here. I pulled it to the side. Pulled it to the side. Now I'm about to play with the background a little bit. Play with the background. Make sure you always add that bottom layer that go under the image. You don't want to draw over the image. Nebula, as you can see, that's under uh, the, the light, the illumination. Pencil, and just playing with it a little bit and it comes out like that. And that's pretty much it. I'm still playing with the, the image a little bit, but that pretty much helps you get rid of the background.